Okay, now what's the first color that comes into your mind when I say the word wedding? White. Right. Okay, that's why I wanted to be daring, to be different. Now close your eyes and open your mind. There. See, that's the design for the marquee for, for Juliet's wedding. Oh, it's orange and green. I, I prefer tangerine and chartreuse. You see, they are all the rage this season. It's a kind of Easter motif. And then there'll be a little table. <sighs> that's what I said. Hmm. Are those the designs for the wedding? Yes, Max, and before you start in on them... Well, I think they're perfect. Huh. Yes, it's going to be the most disgusting and tacky wedding in the history of the world, and these designs seem to me to be particularly apt. Max! <sighs> well... Juliet is a, she's a cultured, sophisticated, some would even say neurotic woman. Whereas Ray, <laughs> he's a vulgarian. No, he's not, because I've seen him eating meat. How could you say these things about a wedding at which you will be the guest of honour? Paul, I have not yet decided whether... No, I've just made my decision. I'm not going. <gasps> you can't do that, Juliet. I'll be really upset. I don't think Juliet or anyone else will even notice the difference. See, Gabby, I was faced with an impossible decision. Ray or the kittens? Which did you choose? Oh, Ray, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> they were old enough. They were weaned. I found them very, very good homes. Oh, where have they gone? I gave one to Steve and one to Andy. Oh, well, the one with Andy should be all right. Anyway, Luther's now run off. I'm sure she's looking for them. I can't find her anywhere. I haven't seen her since last night. Juliet, I'm thick. Juliet, stop giving yourself a headache. Immerse yourself in, I don't know, in your wedding plans. No, even better, work. Oh, Gabby, you're right. When all around is chaos, get on with something you know you're good at. That's the... Oh! Right. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hello, uh, welcome to Mortimer. You must be the chocolate sculptor. No, oh, no, no, the stunt map. No, oh, no, 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 no. I I've come to see Mr. Max Church. Is he about love? Oh, yeah, he is. If you just sign the visitor's yes, book and then we'll go and find him, You're all right? You're from the north, aren't you? Oh, how did you guess? <laughs> oh, I can tell. <laughs> Where exactly do you come from? Oldham. Oh, I grew up in Oldham. Did you? I used to live beside Alexandra Park. Do you know it? Oh, I know. Oh, it used, used to, to be lovely in the spring, kids, full you know, of tulips. It was lovely. Right, yeah. And do you know that fish and chip shop on the main street? <gasps> now, the one... Coasters... Oh. Tangerine, napkin rings, chartreuse. Yes, right. Uh, they just have a cup of tea. Oh, you must be Terry Forrestal, the Thunder Ranger. How'd you guess that? Oh, just call it a lucky hunch. Uh, listen, uh, the tea's through there, okay? I'm just going to save the program. I'll be right with you. You still will. I'll be yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, you're exactly right. Oh, Mabel. Love. love one, thanks very much, dear. If you go in a chippy down here and you ask for mushy peas, they look at you as if they've got you've got three heads. That's you know. right, love, and they never give you gravy on your chips, and no. I do like gravy on my and me. chips. And me. Because you know they don't do any baking down here at all. They never make their own cakes. No. I mean, I would never buy a boat cake. I bet your mother would never she, buy a boat cake. She'd never buy a boat cake. As a matter cake. of fact, love, I brought a cake with me today. I made it myself. It's for Max. It's oh. a Dundee. It's oh. his favourite. Did you know that? No, I know he likes Garibaldi's. Well, well, it's the currants, you see, love. He loves currants. <laughs> Well, it is still an off day closing on Tuesdays, you know. That's Claudia the car. Oh, but, um, you know, hi, we might... Hi. Oh, hi, Neil. Hi. Uh, Neil, this is hi. Mabel. Oh, Hello, Mr. Mabel. You're Mr Buchanan, aren't you? Oh, yeah. oh, I love that programme of yours, that art attack. Oh, thank you very much. I, I tried the plop art, you know. Oh, what a mess I made. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Have you seen Max? Uh, yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, great. Come on, Hey, Mabel, Mabel wait till you try Squid Yard. Oh, Mr Buchanan! <laughs> you know, Terry, I've toyed with the idea of becoming a stuntman myself. He's sort of following in my dad's footsteps, you know? He did all the stunts in all his movies himself. I remember this one movie. He's like in this bar on Mars, right? Just minding his own business. When the baddie gets him in this tentacle lock, right? So he just has to beat him up, beat him up, and he, he, he jumps out the window. And there's a passing guard, and he can and, and picks up a laser pistol and lets him have it. Brap, that Brap. happens to be my teapot, you clumsy American Burke. Calm down, Excuse Max. Me. It's just that I'm thinking of maybe training as a stuntman. Well, that's a very good profession for you because you don't need any brains. Uh, have you met Terry Forrestal, the stunt arranger? Of course, brains help. <laughs> and Max now says he doesn't even want to go to the wedding. Oh, I expect he'll enjoy it when he gets there. Well, I'm dead excited. I'm being a bridesmaid oh. and we're having oak cuisine. What's that? Well, it's like really posh food all displayed nice on your plate. Oh, you mean all bits and pieces? Yeah. Oh, I don't like that sort of thing. I like a proper sit-down meal. Yeah, you're right. And, and where are they going for the honeymoon then? Oh, I think somewhere abroad. Abroad? Oh, yeah. I'd love to go Excuse abroad. Excuse me. I've oh, never been. Max, there you are. Don't interrupt me when I'm a helot. <laughs> 